when did you realize I wanted to come to America, and why? Well, when I was in law school, third year as a college student, and only like a, about twenty years old, and I met an American student who and showed me a pocket constitution and read to me the Declaration of Independence. Up to that point, I never heard about concept of individual rights. And also, all men are created equal. I have this natural rights, not from my government. I just he put America in my brain to say <laughs> this、it. is an awesome country. If I someday have to leave China, and this country I wanted to come, and so later, then that's why I was like, oh, you know, here's this cool country. Since I don't want to be an、um, enslaved, you know, continue to be an、um, you know oppressed in China, I need to come here to seek. Freedom and the prosperity. That's incredible. You just read just understanding the principles from those founding documents. That's really incredible. Now, can you talk to us about during that time when you were growing up under Mao, all the way through college years, what was economic opportunity like in China? Was there economic opportunity for ingenuity and for business? What did that look like, especially on the individual level? None, because under communism, everybody worked for days, six days a week, and there was no concept of private property and private property ownership. So you, you, you just basically everybody get a government job and work for the government. There's no incentive to work hard to perform, and 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 if you work for the party, you have to be politically correct in order to get promoted. So my parents were in literally working class. They work really hard. We could not even keep our, you know, stomach fit. We were starving, and we lived on food rationing coupons. We had one brand of government products for everything, and there's always long line. And we shared a community housing with eight families, one bathroom, one、oh、water, one water faucet. So, so it's horrible, right? It's extremely primitive, and 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 we were told the. Um, even though we're very hungry, but we're told other people were suffering even more, so we should be grateful. That's what we were brainwashed to believe. So, economic freedom, start your own business, no, did not exist at the time. What were you told? Were amongst those other people who were suffering even more? Were they convincing and indoctrinating and brainwashing you all that that was true in America as well? Oh, those Americans—they're suffering, or it's terrible in America. There, or what was the brainwashing and the indoctrination about what it was like to live here? Well, we Americans were demonized to be in purest country, and、uh, we were told to hate the capitalism, blood suckers, you know, exploit workers, and we were told the Taiwanese people were suffering. We're starving, and we need to liberate them. <laughs> so, <laughs> why did they go liberate them? Yeah, they're still talking about、yeah. liberate Taiwan or or unify with Taiwan by force. You know,、oh. <laughs> but Taiwanese people actually show the Chinese people on mainland China they are capable of capitalism, free market, strong economy, and democracy. They vote. You know、yeah. they have two or three. You know, like a parliament system instead of a dictatorship, but but because the one party controls all propaganda machines and press and media, lots of Chinese don't know that. 